coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10's Aaron Peters. We had a sunny day today in the Wabash Valley. Unfortunately, we did see some chilly temperatures. And unfortunately, we're going to see cold temperatures tonight as well. Temperatures dropping to around 30 degrees tonight. But good news is, as we get into tomorrow, we will see warmer temperatures and we're going to see the sunshine come out once again. Some unfortunate news, though, is we could see some showers possible by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday of our work week. So look at the Storm Team 10 Futurecast. This is midnight tonight. We could see a few clouds rolling as we get throughout tonight. As we get into early tomorrow, these clouds are going to stay in the forecast. But by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, we're going to see that sunshine return. As I mentioned, warmer temperatures, nearly a 10 degree jump from today to tomorrow. This is at 6 p.m. as we talked about clear conditions. By the time we get to tomorrow night, more clouds are going to roll into the Wabash Valley. And by the time we get into the afternoon hours of Monday, we could even see some precipitation start to move in. This is at noon, as I mentioned, see some precipitation off right outside the Wabash Valley. This is at 4 p.m. Your greatest chance of seeing precipitation is going to come Monday night into early Tuesday. So this is at 9 p.m. You see a lot of rain start to move into the Storm Team 10 viewing area. This is at 11. As I mentioned, it's going to be early Tuesday mornings when we're expecting the greatest chance of potentially seeing some thunderstorms and heavy rain. This is around 2 a.m. on the future cast. And of course, Storm Team 10 will be here throughout this weekend in the start of your work week to keep you updated on this. It looks like though, once we get past those early morning hours of Tuesday, you could still see isolated showers get through the rest of your Tuesday, but the heavy rain won't be as prominent for your Tuesday morning, afternoon and evening plans. So look at the precipitation chances over these next five days. We're staying dry tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a nice day. 20% chance of precipitation on Monday with that rain potentially moving in by the time we get to your afternoon, evening hours. But the most prominent amount of rain we're going to see is Monday night into early Tuesday. Tuesday, a 70% chance of precipitation with potential thunderstorms early Tuesday around that 2, 3 a.m. mark when a lot of us will still be asleep. But luckily, that chance of rain will be moving out of the forecast for both Wednesday and Thursday. We should be remaining dry. So look at the temperature trend over these same next five days. Keep in mind, today's high was around 48 degrees. Average high is around 55. I mentioned tomorrow is going to be warmer. High of 57, staying dry and sunny. So if you have any outdoor plans, tomorrow is going to be the day to do so because after that, we see rain move into the forecast for both Monday and Tuesday. A little bit cooler on Wednesday. Wednesday should be very similar to today. We're going to see some sunshine, but it's also going to be breezy and could feel chilly at times and it gets a little warmer on Thursday with a high of 58. Temperatures currently, some of us are still in the 40s. Unfortunately, some of us have dropped into the 30s already. Tonight, we're going to drop to around 30 degrees for the overnight low with a partly cloudy sky and a cold breeze. It's getting to tomorrow. It's going to be significantly warmer than it was today. 57, mostly sunny with a cold breeze as well. It's getting to tomorrow night, overnight low around 46 degrees. It's going to be a cold night with a mostly cloudy sky. Look seven day forecast. High around 57 degrees tomorrow and mostly sunny. By the time we get to Monday, a little bit warmer temperatures in the 60s, 63 for the high with 20% chance of precipitation, potential storms and heavy rain possible Monday night entering early Tuesday.